So welcome back. We're now inside the lab. And here we are in uh, what is it? What is this? Nerds' revenge? Revenge of the nerds? Eventually, we'll be doing a little bit. I'm still waiting for someone to dump snakes books. Uh, there's a room right behind me that I'm not gonna go into because it's a little bit risky. Also, keratin up there. Uh, the only things in that room anyway are a scientist and um, some medical stuff, which I don't really need. Scientists are probably more dangerous to be around than uh, regular guards here, honestly. Is it because they recognize who their fellow scientists are? Yes. Oh. So as soon as they see you, they will call the alarm. And then everybody knows where you are and you gotta figure out how to hide and then just blend in. Man, it's just like hip Hitman at Solution. <laughs> anyway, this vent is how you could also get the Oyama face paint. Let's just uh, show that off real quick. Oh boy. I still want to see some of these uh, country camouflages. Maybe I'll show some off um, soon-ish. You know the the Oyama face paint really goes heavy on the on the eye shadow. It does. Or is it, or is it blush? I don't know. Maybe a little both. It works kind of well with like snow camo for white areas, but. I, I assume you probably shouldn't wear glasses along with the Oyama camouflage as well. You shouldn't be wearing any face paint with a scientist camo, to be honest. Well, yeah. But I mean more the reverse. Well, yeah. Once again, on your murderous rampage. Of... I, I thought it was a new animal, but then when I got <laughs> out, I realized it was just a rat. <laughs> also, I switched camo there really quickly because you can't use most weapons while in disguise. Oh, okay. Also, I'm trying to just press triangle to open the door because I don't want to, like, slam the door open and have a guard on the, be on the other side. Because that's going <laughs> to cause an alert. Alarm. Knock, knock him on his ass? Yeah. Huh? There's also a little uh, control panel there that you can use to call an alarm yourself. But since no one really knows who that you're supposed to be an enemy, that's not going to do much. It'll start the alarm and then move into evasion, but that's it. So people just start panicking for no reason? Yeah. Also, you can't use TNT unless you are um, not in disguise. <laughs> as usual. I like to think that it's because the scientist camouflage or uniform doesn't have any pockets. That'd be weird. So, like, he can't... He doesn't have, like, all his gear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm being a little cautious here, because I had a couple of messed up runs. Uh, there was an explosion from that corner, and the scientist is running away. He's I didn't, suspicious. I didn't see anybody, but he probably, like, dove over the edge into the, um, the outside. Must be in the sewers. Also, it's a magazine that has info on Ga Metal Gear Solid 3. Ooh. Can't wait. wait for that game to come out. Wait, how is that even possible? <laughs> yes. Also, this one specific bathroom stall door is locked, so to open it, you gotta break it down. And you get fly camo. It's very stinky, and I think this was a contest submission for um, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence. <laughs> Sm it smells really bad, and enemies won't want to come in to stab you, which doesn't really come into play unless you've blown up ammo houses like I have. Right, right. So, I'll show that off in a bonus update. Covered in poo and flies. images. It actually makes flies uh, come up around you. And um, these bathroom stalls may seem like lockers, but if you try to drag someone in, you can't like shut them in like a locker. Kind oh, of annoyingly. Okay. You can peek yeah. over with R1 and then use L2 or an R2 to like look left and right. Right. That seems weird that you can't pull somebody in and just like have them sit down on the toilet. Well, I mean, it's a bathroom stall, so they presumably they can just let themselves out. Ah, uh, I mean, I mean, if I were to grab the guy and 
knock him out, and then I could probably stuff him in the locker here. But what if you break the lock on the bathroom stall door? Uh, see, Kojima, you don't think of everything. Well, I mean, the way bathroom stall doors are designed... <laughs> Look, it's Russia. They probably installed the doors backwards, so you can only unlock them from the outside. <laughs> anyway, uh... We got another another new camouflage option is right over here, Chaco Chip Camo, and um, it's named for its quote unquote resemblance to a chocolate chip cookie, but I don't think it looks like a chocolate chip cookie at all. Yeah, I've never quite understood why. Like, I don't I don't see it either. They're like chocolate chips, I don't know. My chocolate chips are usually like darker. Yeah, and they don't tend to like smear like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess yeah, unless you're using some like weird recipe where, you know, you've got like darker portions because of chocolate, I guess? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, I was just exploring out here because I don't recognize this area, but now that I went around the corner, I do recognize it, so... It's our little uh, vent yeah. for the Oyama. I would have cut out uh, stuff here, but... It's not, it's not, it's like maybe 10 seconds worth of uh, backtracking through the vent. You know, I really hope that you go up to one of those guys and at least offer some of your noodles. <laughs> Do the right thing, you know? I, I will offer at least one man some food. Yeah, but knowing you, it'll be spoiled. So, now, going down here, we got a little more optional stuff to go clean out. Clean out as in eliminate? Well, take for ourselves, really. <laughs> I don't rem I think this is the jail you get thrown into if you're caught, like, as a scientist outside the building. There's two sides, east and west. Does getting caught, like, do anything? Like, do you lose any of your gear, or...? No. Hmm. I was trying to look for a certain item, because I remembered it was in one of these uh, prison areas, but I couldn't remember which one. Turns out it was the other one. But hey, there's a frog over here, and there's a pinup poster up there. And a mouse trap here for some reason. <laughs> look, sometimes the guards forget to feed the prisoners. They have to be equipped. Uh, okay. I mean, we're talking about like some of the most incompetent men in video gaming. Okay, you got a point. <laughs> I mean, these guys don't even know how to feed themselves. <laughs> well, I mean, they can't feed themselves anymore. Look, there are plenty of good rats crawling around the building. There's not really much in these vents. Yeah, doesn't seem like it. There's a bunch of flies in that toilet. Can you, like, pop up in one of the, the closed, like, cells and just pretend to be a uh, prisoner? Um, I don't think so. Also, that's just the, uh, the guard room from earlier, so... That's it's enough of the vents basically a dead end. Yeah. I, know, I I kinda hate it when games do that. There's like not even an item over there. It's just here's a vent. Yeah. Seems seems like more games should have it so that you could at least like open up grates like that. Yeah. Kinda like kinda like how Batman and, and Hitman do it where you can like either rip it off or just you know, press a button and go through it. Yeah. That would be um that would definitely cause some attention though well I mean if you break it off sure but I, I, I think saving yourself like a minute at a time that's yeah. probably worth it yeah anyway that's a uh, great place to store ammo <laughs> right also there was a couple more MGS3 magazines on the table there and look how 
Look how quickly that alarm's going down. I noticed it stopped at like at around 69. Was it because somebody was looking at you, or? I have no idea, actually. Because like there was there was a definite pause for like a second. Yeah, I I don't know. I was a little surprised at that too. The evasion is still gonna clock down a little fast, but not as fast as like the alert though. Right, right. Because I guess we technically are evading right now. Well, uh, isn't that usually the standard where like alert goes away faster and then evasion takes longer? Well, I mean, if you're I'll... normally like it's one to one for all phases, but. For stuff like that, where you definitely cannot be found, like they'll right. they'll just take away pretty fast. Right, right. I think caution always goes at like one to one, unless like everybody's neutralized. Also, I was testing something out, but I kind of messed up. I'll give you something to eat with my chocolate chip camo. No, that was fly camo. Oh, it looked like chocolate chip. Yeah. I, I was trying to see if whether or not, like, if you, like, held someone, like, with fly camo on, they just instantly pass out from the smell, but... I <laughs> well, I mean, pressed... he's gonna pass out from the blood loss, so... Win-win, <laughs> really. I pressed the button too hard, so... <laughs> so, um, I'm just letting those guys go. Make sure they don't see me. Here's oh, some yeah. sig gas spray. Nothing to see here. I think Asper is pretty handy. You know, really, they're just gonna go out to eat. They're not even really checking out the evasion. <clears throat> so, Sig Gaspray is um, one of the few items you can use as a scientist. Are you going to try and knock out this guy in front of his buddy? I wouldn't say in front of, but I'm definitely feeling like knocking these guys out after that. You deserve that kick to the shins. Hey. So does reading the magazine cause a time paradox? You can't even read them. You, you can just look at the covers. <laughs> That's it. Also, there's a scientist there just cowering because he thinks there's an intruder around here. Also, a really old TV. Well, I mean, it is, what, the 60s? What's wrong? Yeah. The scientists, or, they're about to go wake up the scientists, so I think, oh, I should probably go get out of here soon before um, the scientist wakes up and sees me. <laughs> also, let's, let's just have that guard ignore his buddy. Look, if it didn't happen in his sight, it never happened to begin with. <laughs> so, I was wrong if Fly Camo doesn't make guards pass out when you hold them, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, it does kind of look like chocolate chip. <laughs> yeah. I'm not crazy, I swear. There's a handkerchief here too, which is another thing that uh, you can use while disguised. Can you only, um, can you only get the Sig Spray and the, the Knockout Chip? Uh, in this area, or...? Yeah, it's only here, I believe. Oh, okay. So it's not like the night vision uh, goggles where, like, there's two or more spots? Right, right. Uh, I went back there because if I went all the way, the scientist definitely would have seen me and called the alert. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. Oh, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? 
Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him. Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic Shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The Philosopher's Legacy. Haven't you heard of the Philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. Funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, 
my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohad is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key... will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. We must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! <laughs>